Hi, I'm Tammy Fellers, an Education Specialist at ESDEC in Hutchison, Kansas, and today we will be talking about Number and Operations and Fractions, Grade 3, Standard 1. Before we begin talking about the standard today, I would like to explore what is a fraction. Take a moment and think of your definition. Many of you probably indicated something about parts and wholes, and that would be correct. The one thing this standard would like for students to understand is that a fraction is simply a number. It has value and has a point on the number line. Today, we will be looking at standard one at the third grade level under the cluster of developing and understanding fractions as numbers. Take a moment and read the standard. What does that standard really mean? There are two parts to that standard. The first is to understand that fractional parts must be equal in size. And the second is for students to understand that when we say three-fourths, that means that there are three, poor, three parts that are each one-fourth in size. Understanding that fractional parts must be equal in size, a student should experience both examples and non-examples of this. Students need to practice cutting, off, cutting holes into parts and creating equal sized pieces. Students also need to understand that not all fractions or holes are circles or rectangles, that they can be any shape. One way to help students develop both of these things is through folding activities. This is an example of a triangle folding activity in which an equilateral triangle has been cut out and you take the vertex to the midpoint of the side opposite and you re will repeat that two more times by taking the vertex to the midpoint of the side opposite. When you have finished, your equilateral triangle will be divided into four equal parts. Shows the student that the whole can be a different shape than a circle and a rectangle. It also teaches students how to create equal size pieces. Another activity that can be completed is using pattern blocks to help students understand that holes do not have to be circles or rectangles. Students can take the yellow hexagon as their whole, and then they can divide that into halves by using two red trapezoids. They can divide it into thirds by using three blue rhombi, or they can divide it into six by using six green equilateral triangles. Another thing for students to work on when understanding that fractional parts must be equal in size is through experiencing fair sharing problems. I have three examples of fair sharing problems. First of all, there are five cookies left for you to share with your brother. How many cookies will you get if they are shared equally? Generally, a student will do something to represent themselves and their brother and then begin passing them out until one cookie is left in which it is split in half between the two and each child will receive two and a half cookies. The next example of a fair sharing problem is there are six candy bars shared equally among four children. Again, the children are represented and the passing out of the candy bars begin. Until there are two candy bars left, each is split in half and distributed to each of the students. Therefore, each child will receive one and a half candy bars. The last example is there are three candy bars to be shared equally among six children. How much will each child receive? Each of the candy bars are cut in half and then passed out to each of the children. Each child receives a half of a candy bar. Please notice in the first two problems that each child received one plus some more. And in the last example is when the child nobody received a whole they started with parts as you are moving down this continuum of building fair sharing problems begin by having each child 
receive at least one whole and ending in a half. After that progression has been built, you can then move to where the child receives less than one. You can also begin sharing one object between three students or one object between four students and creating um, different denominators using that experience. But begin by students fair sharing and receiving at least a half. The second part of the standard is to understand that, for example, three-fourths means there are three parts that are each one-fourth in size. Students have learned to divide things into equal pieces, but as they put them together, when we say three-fourths, we mean that we are taking three of those one-fourth size parts and putting them together. Activities that can be done to complete this standard are practicing dividing and experiencing, experiencing shapes cut into equal sizes and solving fair sharing problems. The expectations for this standard is to stay within the denominators of two, three, four, six, and eight and the children should be experiencing fractions using models rather than algorithms. Teachers need to be working with students at the concrete and or representational level. The vocabulary within this standard is fraction, numerator, denominator, halves, thirds, fourths, sixths, and eighths. Thank you for being with me today. Remember to embrace fractions. If you are scared of them, your kids will be too. Thank you. Again, I'm Tammy Fellers, Educational Specialist at ESDEC in Hutchison, Kansas.